All right. Uh, our next speaker is Scott Murray, uh, and he will talk about the vehicle signal specification VSS and Cuxa.val, um, and what uh, well, what's the latest in AGL? All right. Hello, everybody. After that introduction, I can probably skip the first slide. <laughs> uh, so very quickly about myself, uh, I've been using Linux for a long time. Uh, I've been doing embedded Linux since you know pretty much 20 plus years. Uh, I've worked at uh, Consulco Group, uh, which is an embedded Linux consulting company since 2014. And uh, we've had a contract to work on AGL since uh, 2016. And I've done pretty much everything <laughs> all over the board in, in AGL, a lot of the Octo project uh, upgrades and you know recipe construction and stuff, as well as a lot of the demo development and integration. Uh, so that's how I ended up doing a lot of vehicle signaling things in AGL. Uh, so to very quickly move through, um, I suspect in this audience, most people would not have heard of vehicle signal specification. It's a sort of up and coming uh, specification for vehicle signals, uh, comes out of Covisa, uh, and they're sort of, it's a big component of their STB sort of working project. Um, it's BMW, Volvo, Bosch, a bunch of different companies. Uh, and what caught our eye and my eye to some degree is that it's actually uh, undergoing uh, standardization with the W3C, which kind of blows it up to, you know, it's not just Covisa, it's an industry sort of level thing. <laughs> And as well, there's a, uh, an API spec um, that's related that's also sort of going through W3C uh, standardization as well called VIS, Vehicle Information Service. Um, and so, you know, these are specs. We need an implementation. AGL is a code first project. Um, and so Bosch, for the most part, started this project called Cuxa.val, which is sort of under the auspices of Eclipse these days. Um, and you do see that, you know, it's a lot of Bosch developers on it, but there's also, you know, co contributions from other folks, um, and it's up on GitHub, so anybody can contribute. Uh, so originally it, it, it implemented uh, the BIS uh, spec V1 and a little bit of the V2 uh, in a C++ server that they were using uh, Boost to implement. Um, and then uh, as things sort of moved through last year, there's a, an alternate implementation that the Bosch folks developed called uh, the Cooksa Data Broker which is written in Rust, and it's sort of becoming their focus. They're gonna deprecate the C++ server. Um, there's some convenient Python and Go client libraries, and uh, they have uh, Python, uh, what they call feeders, that push data into the Cooksa server. Um, and so these are interesting things to us because it saves AGL from developing this type of stuff ourselves, and it's an up and coming sort of, you know, emerging standard. Uh, so, because this is a lightning talk, um, we had an all members meeting in Berlin a few months ago, and there were a couple talks. Uh, one of the folks from uh, Bosch, uh, Sten, gave a talk, a high level talk on VSS and uh, Eclipse and Cuxa, and I gave a more sort of detailed talk as well. So I, I just uploaded this to Sketch, so you can grab it from there if you need it. Uh, okay, so that's the very you know mile high view of VSS and Cuxa. Um, so last spring, we had just sort of pulled out our legacy application framework and wanted to have something for vehicle signaling and AGL. Um, I sort of mentioned Cooksa.bal and we sort of picked it up and integrated it. Uh, so that was originally with the, the 0.21 release um, and vehicle signal specification 2.2. Uh, and you'll notice that as we went through the last year roughly, We've upgraded, you know, Cooksa.bal through a couple releases, and the VSS is actually moving relatively quickly as more auto companies sort of jump on it and want more signals, basically. So it's an open source project. You can go to GitHub and do a pull request and say, I think you need, you're missing a signal for such and such, and so there's a whole process. So we've been trying to keep up with that as well. So we're now on Cooksa 0.3.1 and VSS 3.1.1. Um, and so that sort of was our history of the last few releases. Octopus was a few months ago. We're working on the Prickly Pike release. Uh, it's hopefully going to release at the end of the month. Um, so we're sticking with uh, Cooksa.bal 0.3.1, but I'm going to bump us to a slightly post 0.31 commit level, uh, mostly to pick up data broker changes. Uh, and we're going to switch to the Cooksa data broker as a default sort of VSS implementation. 
uh, you know, basically it's future proofing. You know, the Bosch team are basically going to focus on the Rust implementation because they think that's more realistic to productize, which you know makes sense in the grand scheme of things. Um, and it has this gRPC API, which I sort of skipped over in one of the previous slides, but that's very interesting to us because gRPC is a much more modern IPC mechanism than you know having to do all this string conversion and JSON with the WebSocket API. And you know, especially if you're going to the trouble, let's build a memory safe Rust implementation, Protobus and gRPC make way more sense. And so as a project in AGL, we're trying to push people in you know, Protobuf direction. And this is sort of a furthering along of that sort of process. Um, so the, if you clone our latest uh, tree rate today, you'll get the data broker is actually built into images, but not all the apps are using it yet. Uh, I'm actively developing that to try and hit our milestone next week. Um, so right now the Qt app conversion is pretty much done in my work tree and should get pushed early next week. Our Flutter demo apps is going to be a little more work there. Um, might not make the end of July, uh, but it should be in maybe the point release that comes shortly thereafter. Um, and then future plans, um, yeah, it's like we, you know, we were following Cooksa.val pretty closely. I'm going to continue doing that. Um, there's some new features coming from the Cooksa.val team that are interesting. Um, they just uh, released VSS 4.0, uh, and we know there'll be changes in our demo apps. Basically, there was a big shift from left-right vehicle signaling terminology to driver-passenger. Uh, which basically came right out of industry folks are saying in, in our ECUs and stuff, we always use driver passenger. So that's sort of a rationalization that's now in VSS 4.0. Um, the DVC feeder for doing CAN input into, you know, into Cooksa basically, um, they basically have now started uh, supporting actually doing output. So the, the CAN, the DVC feeder can subscribe to signals and there's some metadata to say, when you see the signal, send these CAN messages. Um, and so we, that just got merged. Uh, and it might be sense for us to replace some pieces of our demo stack with that. Because um, right now we have a little daemon that basically listens to HVAC signals and sends CAN messages. So if I don't have to maintain that <laughs> and can point people at an existing you know, upstream project that can do it, then that's probably good for AGL. And the last sort of new thing that was uh, I just learned of last week is they're basically developing a uh, basically a proxy. So um, the data broker doesn't implement pure uh, VIS. The gRPC protocol is sort of its own thing. Uh, it looks very similar to VIS, but it's not a WebSocket, of course. And so there's this Cooksa VISS client that's it's just it, there's, it's up on GitHub if you look for it. Um, it's going to migrate, I think, into like Cooksaval proper, uh, and it will basically be a proxy between the data broker and like the VIS WebSocket interface. Um, so we'll probably fully convert to gRPC, but I think it would be useful for us to actually have that you could build this proxy in AGL. So probably if you come along for our end of the year release, you'll notice it'll be a recipe, and we'll probably do something to exercise it a little bit to show it off. So that's all I have. If anyone has any questions, Let's see how, how I did for time there. <laughs> right on time. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, we have time for one question. Yeah, I'll be at the bar. If anyone that's really into vehicle signaling uh, is desires to talk about this stuff in exhaustive detail, I'll be around. All right, perfect. Thank you, All Scott. Right. All right.